In a previous tutorial, we looked at various options for adjusting the layout and size of the color chooser in Cinema 4D Release 17. Well, that begs the question of how do I get it to stick that way? And you do that in the preferences. So if you jump into the Cinema 4D preferences, edit preferences, or control E or command E on the Mac, and switch into the units tab, you'll see that you have an option here for the color chooser options. There's uh, the option to choose the RGB range. You can go 0 to 255 or 0 to 100%. Or if anybody actually uses 0 to 65K, you can do that there as well. Then the next part here is this default set option. And this is the default set of tabs that are going to be enabled each time you open a color chooser. And uh, there's some additional options as well underneath each of these foldouts. So the first thing is the special mode and whether you want the color wheel spectrum or color from picture option enabled by default. And I tend to leave this disabled. Uh, and then here you can choose what size you would like the wheel to be and the spectrum. And I'm choosing small for both of those. And then the size of the swatches, which for those I actually make those large. Next we jump into the RGB mode and you can see that by default only the HSV mode is enabled. If you want the RGB mode instead of the HSV you can simply swap those checkboxes or you can have both by default if you check both. Uh, but within the RGB mode you can also choose the show hexadecimal field option which will show the uh, hex field within the RGB layout for those of you who work with web color a lot and also the old RGB sliders option. So uh, by default, the RGB sliders in R17 work sort of in an additive fashion, so you can kind of see what you're going to get as you drag that slider. But uh, if we choose the old RGB sliders, you get more like the behavior that you had in previous versions of Cinema 4D, where it just shows black to full red, black to full green, and black to full blue. And you'll see your mix as you adjust the sliders up here. So that's the RGB mode. HSV mode doesn't have any special options. You can just enable it by default or not. Same with Kelvin and the color mixer. Next we get into the swatches mode and here we can choose to enable this by default. Uh, we can also choose whether we want to show the group names for the swatches, which is a little bit hard to see here because we don't have groups, but let's just go ahead and create a group. Uh, pastels and we'll go into the wheel and sort of choose pastels there and we'll select these and drag them into that group. So now if I choose, first of all I'm going to choose to make the swatches large and then I can choose to show the group name and you'll see that there's a little line there to say that this is the pastel group. If you don't show the group names they'll also show as you mouse over the folder so there you can see that that is the pastels group. So I leave the group names off but I usually make the swatch sizes either medium or large. And uh, now we've got our default set, and those are stored in the Cinema 4D preferences. And we are good to go, so when we go ahead and restart Cinema 4D, and jump into our color chooser, you'll see that uh, the HSV mode is on by default, the color wheel is small, but the swatches are big. All of those options that we set are in place. So now you know how to set up your color chooser the way you want every time you launch Cinema 4D.